What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, and you're watching Backtrack Cinema. Welcome to my 31 Days of Horror. In today's topic, I'm going to run through my top 10 horror movie posters. So this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. We all like good horror posters. The 80s, I think, made some of the best horror posters of all time, so expect a lot from the 80s to be in here. But let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite horror movie posters are and all that jazz. And we'll have a great time talking about it. If you're new to the channel, then like, subscribe, share the video around as it helps my channel out a lot. So without further ado, let's get into this. Coming at number 10 is the poster for 1980s Maniac. This is where you got a man standing there with a woman's scalp. So says a lot, right? Woman killer. He's taking scalps. He's got the knife there. He's just, we don't see his face, which is pretty awesome. We just see almost like a blue Carla guy running shoes, blue jeans, but it's very vibrant. I like how vibrant the poster is and the red blood all over the place telling you that this is going to be a bloody movie. When I first watched this movie, I didn't realize how psychological it was going to be. It's all about this killer, right? Who has some deep mommy issues. And it gets really dark and macabre fast. But as far as the poster goes, as I digress, great poster. It's killer and it's vibrant. Coming at number nine is the Halloween 2 poster. This is my favorite Halloween poster. I just love the black background and the pumpkin. And the pumpkin has the skull imprinted in it. And it's very dark. It almost looks like you just put like a Skeletor's kind of face what did loomis say in the first movie death has come to your little town and the way the second movie opens up you don't know what death is it's just that the skull really represents death and destruction i just love the artwork to this thing man and it's, it's really just that skull and the pumpkin it's very simple right like a lot of things with halloween you got to keep it simple right and they keep it simple here coming at number eight is the poster for jaws it's a great movie a scary movie it's a great shark movie spawned a whole shark genre for us horror fans but again you got to keep posters simple they keep it simple it just has that nice jaws font at the top a woman swimming and you see jaws coming up from below right which happens a lot in the movie right where you get that jaws perspective and he's always coming up again it's very vibrant it's very colorful and i love that perspective of the shark you just see his gaping mouth the teeth and everything like that it's just awesome, man. It's just such a great poster. Coming at number seven is the poster for the original Evil Dead. Love this poster. Love the colors, the blue, the brown of the earth. And, you know, the woman coming out and reaching. You know what I mean? And her, her shirt straps are kind of hanging over her shoulders and stuff. And it's really telling you, what the hell am I signing up for here? What am I getting into? The poster's kind of on a tilt. The Evil Dead font is on a tilt and everything. Everything's on a tilt. Makes you feel real, you know, off kilter and disjointed. And then when you watch the movie and you see the camera work it's going for, you know, the, everything about the, the off kilteredness and everything and sporadic anxiety induced nightmare. You know what I mean? So always love this poster. I remember seeing this movie back in the day where you rent VHS tapes and that was one that just always jumped out at me. So awesome poster coming at number six is the original house on haunted hill poster. This is a film with Vincent price, but just look at the front of this poster. I love the artwork on it. You have a skeleton dangling a woman strangled. You got Vincent price carrying a head around. It's just got this horrific imagery that's played up to this really great art artwork. And how could you not back in those days, see that and go, I gotta see that movie i mean the poster work is so good on some of those 50s movies i think this movie was in the 50s you guys will have to let me know in the comments if i'm wrong about that but a great poster some great artwork and you know the dark sky in the background and everything's just fantastic coming at number five is the horror comedy house from the 1980s and that's just a doorbell and the zombified hand ringing the doorbell you know what i mean and i love the font this old kind of architect font house at the top of it, all in red. And it's almost something inviting about this poster. Ringing the doorbell, we're inviting you to a good time with this movie. And it is a good time. But that hand always oh, stuck out to me seeing this poster as a kid. And still to this day, absolutely love it. I mean, I would own all these posters and I would 
put them all up on that backdrop there. I love them so much. Coming at number four is the poster for Fright Night from 1985. You just get Charlie's house in the dead center. The font of Fright Night is awesome. You know, I like how it comes down to a couple points, the font, like very like dra like vampire teeth. You know what I mean? So that is always awesome. And it is a vampire movie. And then you got the blue and dark sky and the clouds forming. And there's a face forming in those clouds that it ends up being Charlie's girlfriend's uh, face when she turns into a vampire. And I just love the, the artwork is so good. It's so detailed. Fright Night's one of the best posters I've ever seen, man. Absolutely love Fright Night. Coming at number three is the poster for The Howling. I like this movie. It's a really unique, different movie on the werewolf genre. And when you first see this poster, you're not sure what you think about it. It's got that great font. It's kind of like, I don't know, some people look at it as a brown paper bag. But to me, it looks like skin ripping through the skin you see the nails coming out through the skin and it's just the the expression of the screaming and everything like that the mouth wide open which you know plays into the movie at the end with the wallace screaming into the into the air right and i just love this poster for that it's so mysterious at the same time i just like you it just jumps out at you and, and you're just like i gotta see this movie man you know you kind of get the idea it's a creature feature it's a werewolf movie. Obviously, when it says the howling, you got to assume this is about werewolves. But what a unique take on the werewolves and fantastic artwork to boot. Coming at number two is the artwork for Friday the 13th, the original. I love this poster. It's one of these posters I can kind of stare at. You know what I mean? And there's probably hidden things inside that poster. I don't know. I, I do not know. I think I saw a YouTube video um, through my feed or something on that. But just... A silhouette stand in there with the knife and the person's hand. Mysterious there, but inside everything, you got the forest, the moon. You got these bunch of kids sitting there looking up. It really screams isolation. We can't get out of this situation. You know what I mean? And the Friday the 13th font is classic font with the blood in the 13th part. What a great title for a movie. They really hit on something with the marketing. A lot of people don't think this is the greatest Friday the 13th movie. I like it. It really popularized slasher movies, especially the ones with gore. And this launched the golden age of slashers, right? So I love the poster for the original Friday the 13th. But coming at number one is the poster for Psycho 2. The Psycho 2 poster is absolutely awesome. I've always loved the Psycho font. You know, it splits in the middle, the red, and using the Roman numeral as two is awesome. Very old looking. The the dark sky is coming in. He's sitting by the house. It's so iconic. Or Norman's just standing there at the top of the steps in front of his house. And it's just like the, the house is a character on its own. And this absolutely love this poster love this poster because the house is so dark and it's foreboding and really it's iconic imagery it's great use of color a great font and it just draws me in and plus i'm a huge psycho fan i'm a huge norman bates fan so i absolutely love this poster that is it guys that is my top 10 posters for this episode of 31 days of horror definitely let me know some of your favorite horror posters in the comments and we'll have a great discussion about it go down the rabbit hole i'll put a video right below me right now for you guys to check out and so you guys can check out a whole bunch of other videos as i call it the rabbit hole and we'll lead you to a whole bunch of others my name is jason you're watching backtrack cinema i will see you next time and i'll see you in the movies cheers